disappointed that I could not help the team more in the second half offensively to get touchdowns instead of field goals. And um, Our line blocked well. Very pleased with Zach's performance on offense. Obviously, you know, Alvin Jones plays just great. And, and we had a couple other guys really play. Our whole defense played hard. I mean, played hard. The kids played hard. They gave great effort. No one quit. It was equal balance game. Look at the stats, boy. They were real, real close. To, you know. So I was real proud of the guys and, and really upset that they didn't get the, the goal of, of winning, you know, because I felt like we deserved to win that game, but kind of blew it ourselves. We had four penalties that happened before the ball, two penalties before the ball was snapped, two penalties after the ball was snapped. Those are, you know, you, we can eliminate those. Let's eliminate those. If it's a, it happens between the whistles, sometimes it's the officials call, and that's the way football is. But no penalties before the, the ball is snapped, no penalties after the whistle. We've got to limit four of those. That's BS. We have, more, we have to have more discipline than that. Where do you start to generate offense in the second half? Seems like this Brian take, took over against six straight quarters. They've gone. Scoreless in the second half. Yeah, I'm, this game I'm real game. disappointed in that. I'm disappointed in, in myself that we I, I wasn't able to help them a little bit more. Where do you start with that? Just from I mean, obviously you got to watch field, you got to go through the whole process, but just on the field today, where do you start with it? We're trying to remember resurrect the offense in the second half. Well, I'm going to have to look at the tape, and uh, I need to sit down with the deep, uh, with the coordinators and evaluate the personnel too. You know, but. Um, Right now, I'm not proficient enough uh, with the uh, um, verbiage that we have offensively, and so. But it, you know, I thought, and that Brian made some great calls, and I thought Mason made some great calls. You know, gosh, they're getting that prevent defense. I just can't stand that when that happens. And he did it, and they moved the ball down, and then he got out of it a couple times, and we stopped him. And it was, and, you know, he, he he didn't like it either. But I think sometimes you gotta you gotta do that. But it's like you know, you know, everybody hates a prevent defense, I guess. How's uh, how's Watt? And I don't think good. I don't know. It's a he's a question mark now. Is it so a no, it's a knee, and it might. I don't know. He's he's a real quiet kid, and he's real tough. So I don't. It's hard, a little hard to evaluate. But we got the best doctors looking at him, and and Zach's got to take care of that bru thigh bruise so it doesn't get worse either. Uh, Greenley. And they're banged up. It's a hard-hitting game, man. Whew. How about um, just, you know, you meshing, meshing with the players and the coaching staff, the coaching staff and the players meshing with you in this first game? I mean, how did that go? I think it went pretty good. I think the players meshing with me and me meshing with the, the players, uh, you know, uh, um, they didn't vote me in, you know. It was, uh, <laughs> wasn't Stull's fault, it was Trump's fault. But, <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I want to be part of their family, and, um, and they got a good family going. I heard a lot of positive, I heard a lot of good comments in that locker room after I um, talked to them. And um, so, um, I think I'm proud of them for trying their best. Um, um, I'm proud of them for supporting their former coaches and, and that kind of thing. That shows loyalty. And um, we just got to keep, you know, uh, managing the situation and, <clears throat> and getting to know each other a little bit better. I'm a little different, you know, than um, other coaches. Obviously, this is a little different if you make that last field goal. But I mean, in terms of when you look at the totality, all the games you've ever coached, does this kind of have a special little spot given everything that was going on? Yeah, it was different. We need to get better, and and uh, and um, that's not an easy job kicking that field goal. Believe me, being the father of a field goal kicker, I know, and never kicking a field goal or attempt in my life. It's not as easy as it looks. Did you come twice by it's No, I thought he'd make it. I believe in him 100 percent that he'd make it. Coach, listen, you've been with the team for a couple of days. Yeah. This team went out and played four quarters of football. I don't think we've seen that all year. A couple of days with the team. The team was inspired. 
they were entertaining from the fact that the game was competitive. From your standpoint, having not coached in a while, how did it feel? Well, it was, it was, it was fun. It was exciting. I mean, it, a lot of fun. I was going to say something, but I won't say it. Bob's standing back there and I'll get in trouble. No. <laughs> what were you going to say? Nothing. Um, yeah, I'm proud of the, I'm proud of the kid. I'm proud of the kids. It's their team. It's a seniors team. I want them to win for themselves, and uh, we will. And we will. We'll win. We keep playing like this. We'll win. And uh, just a matter of time. Talk about how you aired it out more. It seemed like you weren't nearly as conservative. I mean, you did well on the ground too, coach, but definitely aired it out more tonight. Um, uh, he threw the ball well, and uh, <clears throat> they're kind of they, they did a good job defensively. Excuse me, <coughs> and um, played the two deep coverage and, and uh, man underneath, and played tight. <coughs> and a lot of times the receivers were running wide open, and Zach took care of the football, brought it down, got yardage, made positive yardage, and and and. Manny's that very, very well. Didn't try to throw it in there except for one time when he just kind of threw it up. Other than that, he, he did what we asked him to do. <clears throat> Coach, was there any point in the, uh, over the process of the entire day um, where there was a point where that coaching competitive fire just came back like on the sideline? Well, I was anxious, anxious, as, yeah, I was anxious as – I was anxious before the game like – my wife isn't here. I called my wife. I said, man, I wish you were here to settle me down. What am I been doing this for a long time? Why am I so excited and anxious? And it's just uh, that's the way football coaches are, I guess. I'm Bob. <laughs> He's an old football coach, so he feels the same way as I do. <clears throat> How did you feel the team throughout the year? Gradually got better and better. And, uh, God, we don't even know each other, you know, so. Um, I, I've not heard one word about this team uh, being not, but a really nice group of kids with uh, good academics and good people off the field. We've really got to stress that, make sure that we keep that for the entire year. Coach Miner did something that's hard to do. Uh, they got inside of Western Kentucky's head. Players were fighting on the field. Well, um, they were kind of a feisty bunch too. So I think it was, it, you know, it was a competitive game, and, and um, I think that's just kind of football. We're not playing tennis, although I I like tennis. I'm not saying anything bad about tennis, but but you know, I mean, it's a, this is a physical game, and and it's a it's a that's what we all love about coming to the games is it's physical and doing stuff that 15 minutes later, if you did it in a parking lot, you'd get thrown in jail for. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Get cheered for by people here, and then you go out in the parking lot and some guy's trying to steal your car, and you, and, uh, you club him and you get in trouble. <laughs> Hard to turn that thing off, that switch off, I'm telling you. 18, 19, 20-year-old guys, that's, you know, I'm and I heard players tonight say, you know, be smart tonight, guys. Be smart tonight because they're mad. So you got to give them some cooling off time. Of, of the El Paso crowd. So that's how I know that <clears throat> more fans are coming out and they believe in us. So we just got to keep pushing. What can you say to people that have maybe given up after this time? Um, people as in? Fans. Fans? It's not over. Um, we still have a long season. We still have lots of games left. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to come out and we're going to fight every last game until the season's over with. And that's a guarantee. We're not going to give up on the city of El Paso just like they haven't given up on us. What's the feeling like in the locker room? Is it tough, but there's hope? Yeah, there is. Um, with Coach Price coming in, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's pretty cool, like the, the atmosphere that he brings around. And I don't know, this week the intensity of practice and everything has just been up a lot. So, um, yeah, we took, yeah, we took a pretty tough loss, but the intensity is still there. Like, we know that, okay, yeah, we took this, but next week, we always have that next game, that next game to go on to, and that's what we're looking forward to. Is this uh, your guys' best game by far? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we brought the fight, 
and uh, you know I'm really proud of our guys. You know, people in the trenches fought hard all night. I think the defense played a hell of a game. You know, that's an explosive offense, and the, you know they held them to two touchdowns. So, you know, I'm proud of what we did. Obviously, we came up one point short, but we got to carry that into next week. That fight, and we had to we had to do it for four quarters, just like we did. How much did the lots of play action throughout the game? How much did that help you, just with your confidence in finding guys and making plays with your feet? Uh, it helps, you know. Anytime you could break contain in the pocket and let guys, you know, be athletic outside, make plays, it, it helps. And you know, every time you know you get outside, you know, big plays can happen. So you know, I think it helped us out tonight, and you know, we'll, we'll take a look at this film and, and learn from it and grow. So like every time you guys would pull shotgun instead of bringing that tight end to slide, you guys would bring a tight end to blocking. How much did that help your decision making? It seemed like those were some run pass options that Kevin was able to break the right. How much of keeping that tight end, you know, there for a blocker would you guys miss the break? How much did that help you? Yeah, I think we had some some great runs tonight and they, they battled hard up front and um, you know, I'm real proud of our line fighting hard and um, Kevin ran tough, you know, he had some big runs there late in the game and uh, you know, I'm proud of him and we gotta carry that fight into next week and uh, be ready to go on the road against another good team. When you went off the field with two minutes to go, did you feel like you'd done enough to win? You know, we, we had three timeouts left, and, you know, we wanted to get that ball back as bad as we could. You know, we were ready on the sideline. You know, we you know we knew we were down by one. All we needed was that, uh, you know, a, a field goal to win at the end. So we were ready on the sideline. You know, defense tried to do what they could, and, you know, they ended up, you know, making one more play than we did tonight. Something going forward from this? Um, I think just the way we fought, you know, we, we put together a good first half against Army. Guys came out and were battling the trenches. And I think tonight we put that together for, you know, four quarters. We fought all the way through, you know, one point game in the fourth quarter. And, you know, guys showed good fight. And that's what you want to see, you know. You work long, hard hours all week for that. And to see people go out there and, you know, lay it on the line, you know, I'm proud of our guys. And, you know, we got. We just got to come up, you know, one more play next week. You know, we lost by one point, and that hurts. But, you know, I'm proud, and we're going to move on. What was the difference this week? It's tough to say. You know, we stayed tight. You know, a lot of adversity happened off the field. But we're used to that. You know, as football players, we grew up, you know, adversity happens all the time on the field. You know, every snap is, you know, a, a play that anything could happen. So we're ready for adversity, and I think we took it head on. You know, we stayed together, and I'm, I'm proud of us for doing that. Yeah. You know, I think we laid heavy on the seniors to have them, you know, bring it together. You know, our time is winding down here at UTEP, so we have to make every minute count. Did you ever have to deal with that before when losing your coach at um, No, I, I, I lost the coach at uh, Fresno, but that was at the end of the season when I was about to transfer. So this is something that's new to me and new to a lot of guys, you know. And like I said, you know, a lot of senior leadership helped this helped us out because you got you know 18 year old guys that just came out and they're away from home for the first time. So, you know, I'm proud of us for staying together. The seniors stepping up. We have great leadership, um, guys that have been here for five years. And, you know, so I'm proud of that, and we're gonna get this thing going next week.